Hi, I'm making porgies tonight. It's a fish called porgies, or some people call them pogies. So I'm making pogies or porgies tonight. I'm gonna fry them uh, with salt, uh, let's season salt or kosher salt, heavy black pepper or fine black pepper, and paprika on the top to make them pretty red. And then I'm gonna shake them in my cornmeal bag. Sometimes you do it like this with your hands, but I find it easier to shake the fish with the cornmeal in the bag. And first of all, I'm gonna make my oil hot. I'll be using grapeseed oil, and I wanna have that hot while I'm seasoning the fish. Hold on. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it has to be sparkling hot, hot, hot before you put your fish in, or it's gonna not be so good. And you don't need that much oil. Uh, you don't have to drown the pan with oil. Enough to take care of the bottom and then turn it over and you have great fish, but don't let it swim in the oil, okay? So now I'm gonna season it. This is fine black pepper. And then I'll wash my hands really well after although I washed them really well before I did this. This is seasoned salt, or you can use kosher salt. Gives it more flavor with the seasoned salt though. My preference. And you can use a spoon to do this or your fingers. My hands are clean and I get a better feel when I do it like this anyway. Now, if you want to put the heavy black pepper on, you can, and then I'll put the paprika on the back of it once, once I'm finished seasoning with the seasoned salt and pepper. I'll put the paprika on the back just to look pretty. And you can decide what side has the bread on it when you put it on the platter. the same amount on the back and the front. Every now and then you'll miss a spot, but it won't matter. It's all good. I'm gonna put heavy black on the back. That coarse black pepper, so good. And now I'm gonna put paprika on this side. But this really doesn't have a taste, it's just beautiful, the color. Now I'm gonna use my cornmeal. I put it in a Ziploc big baggie so you can shake it. And it will cover all your fish. And it takes about five minutes for each piece, like two, two and a half minutes on each side, and it's gonna be crispy and good. Some people cook theirs with flour. I don't prefer flour on my fish, only on my chicken. You see it's all covered now. And every now and then, if you see a piece that's not covered, just cover it. I don't think my oil is hot enough yet, so I'm gonna wait. Really and the way you can see if your oil is hot, you can take a little sprinkle of water just to see if it bubbles. Hold on. And I put the water drops in it and it's ready to put the fish in. All right. That's how I test mine anyway. See it's bubbling? Because you can put it in cold oil. And I'm using two pans tonight, because I have a lot of fish. Then after this, I have to take a toothbrush and clean my nails. Some people use gloves too, but I like to feel the fluid in my hand. You see it bubbling like that? You know it's gonna be good. More pieces. This 
I'm shaking a little more. Just two more pieces for this one. And you could deep fry it also, but I like this one. Okay, it's been two and a half minutes on that side. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. See how pretty that is? Because if you cook it too hard, it's gonna be like a hard french fry. And I don't think you want that. Look how pretty. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one. You can use any kind of spatula, as long as it don't flip over and pop that grease back on you. And you know that these are my old, old cast iron. My mother gave me uh, five hands about 15 years ago. And they're not cheap, but they work. They're perfect for frying fish and chicken. And then, I could tell you something. Something you could have with this fish, I'll tell you in a minute, okay? We're gonna feed you. <laughs> it is so good. Okay, the fish is done. So I have a paper towel plate, so you'll absorb some of that oil. So it won't be so greasy. <laughs> and these are porgies, but they're small. I usually get the bigger ones, but this is all they have at the farmer's market, the small ones. But they taste like heaven. So good. So now this one, the paper towels, they're here, but the fire is off. So I'm not trying to start a fire. I'm taking this last batch off. So it took five minutes to make the fish, about five minutes to season it, and so you have a meal of fish in 10 minutes, really. So it's awesome. Now you just have to taste it. I wish you could, but you can't. <laughs> so I'm a little pressed for time tonight, and so for, for size, I'm gonna use Patty LaBelle size that you can get at Walmart and supermarkets. I have the macaroni and cheese, the kale greens, the cornbread sweet and savory, I have black eyed peas with smoked turkey and corn up with, and tomatoes, and they're all awesome. And then you can get a patty dessert if you like from those same stores. You'll be set to go. Usually after I have my dinner, maybe two hours after that, I go into my hard shell extra jumbo Baltimore crabs. My friend Willie brings them to me every week and they're awesome. And I forgot to toast to you and to say to you, stay clean, please wash your hands, stay away from people as far as you can because we have to come back hugging very soon. I love you. And there'll be more recipes that you can check pretty soon, okay? Because I cook every day. Bye.